What is up guys? This is Vishu from Savage Camp. In this video, we are going to look at how multiprocessing pool module works using the map function. So to start with, you have to understand the pool module uses the map function. To understand the pool module, you need to understand the map function. If you don't know, I have a video on this which explains this in detail. But I'm going to give you a very brief summary about the map function. So this is our normal function. And if I do for i in range 5, let's do 5, I'll do print f of i. So let's run this and see what happens. So we have the numbers 1, 4, 9 and 16. Now let me go back to this uh, board and show you what happened. This is our function. All it does is returns a value. When I'm sending in values over here, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So suppose I'm sending it 7 items. So what actually happens in a single process is 1 goes in, it returns the value for 1. 2 goes in, returns the value for 2. 3 goes in and it returns the value for 3. 4 goes in, it returns the value of 4. So what you have to understand is this is a linear way of programming, which means that to get to 2, the function has to first execute 1. Similarly, to get to 6, the function has to go through all of these because these are being sent one by one. First would go number 0, then it would then would go the number 1, then number 2, then number 3 and number 4. So these are all going in a linear way. Now, what multiprocessing and the map module does is the map module is pretty easy to write. You just write map and you give a function and you give a list. So what I am telling this Python function is map this function with this list, which basically means take every element of this list and start sending it to the function. Now this is not going to give me an output because, because this returns a map object. So to convert this into a list, I will pass in list and then assign it to x and print x. Pretty simple. It is going to give me that list. Now here's the main thing that you have to understand. With pool, you define p is equal to pool. So we have a pool object and this same thing that we did with map, what we did is we told Python processor that for every element in the list, start sending it one by one to this function. Now this was happening with one process, which means that there was one process that was taking every element and start starting to send it out. But again, it was working in the same way. It was starting, it was starting with one, then two, then three, then four. So if you come to seven, you have to execute all of these first. With multiprocessing, here's the catch. With multiprocessing, what we are doing is we are creating seven threads. So these are like seven threads from the pool and each of them are going at the same time, which means process number seven is sending seventh element to the function while process number one, two, three, four, five, and six are also sending those elements to the function. So all of this is being done concurrently. So which means that every element is independent. So for the seventh element to go to the function, we don't have to wait for the first six to be executed. Each of them have their own process and each of them are executing this same thing. So I have this and let's create a list. L is equal to X for X in range. Let's do, I don't know how many numbers are there. So in this case, I will do P dot map. So I'm telling the pool to map this function F with the list L and let's put this in another function run and then 
call the main function. So if I run this now, you will see all the numbers come in and this is like this ran so fast like within a second it's ready and it's because of multiprocessing and this is what multiprocessing pool does you have a pool of processes each process is mapping f the function with the l which is the list so we we can create multiple processes to do the same thing at the same time without being dependent on the previous items in the list and that is why it is so fast and only use this for like things that need like million items or like hundreds of thousands of items because that is way more efficient than running it for printing out a number or something but i think that is it for this video guys and i will see you guys in the next one